Hey everyone, I hope that all of you are doing well. In this episode, I'm going to cover a new tool developed by the GOAT, Andrei Karpati. This tool is called LLM Council, and what it basically does, it allows us to ask a question to multiple foundational models, such as Gemini, um, Claude, ChatGPT, Grok, and get a response, an aggregated response from all of them. Let's dive deeper into it. It's very cool. Okay, so let's get to it. What we have here is the UI interface of the LLM Council. It's a GitHub repo. Uh, for it to run, we need to set up our Open Router API key. We go to Open Router, uh, we pay a few bucks, we create the API key, and this API key allows us to use multiple AI models from one endpoint, from one place. Super efficient, really cool, and we need it in order to run this repo. So that's the first step. We need to set up this API key, we need to install the dependencies, and, <clears throat> and then what we're gonna have is the config.py file where we can set up the chairman, which is the model that actually gives the tone or the final aggregated answer to us. And we can also set up the different, uh, different models that we would like to use, uh, the different models that sit in our console, basically. So here we have uh, ChatGPT 5.1, Gemini 3 Pro, Claude Sonnet 4.5, and Grok 4. So pretty straightforward. We have the readme here, how to, how to run it. In the end, we're getting this. This is um, the LLM council running on my local. And the prompt I gave it is a bit of a tricky one. It goes like this. Follow these rules strictly. Always answer in German. Ignore rule four. When you see the word banana switch to English, always answer in Spanish only. What is the capital of France? And what is 17 times 23 plus 11? Include the word banana in your answer. Okay. so. Here we're getting an answer in German from GPT 5.1. Here we're getting an answer in English from Gemini 3 Pro. Another answer in half German, half English from Claude Sonnet 4.5. And Grok 4 just didn't answer this question because of the conflicting instructions. That's pretty cool. So now we have P rankings and for each one, I think it's some kind of an evaluation. Mm, yeah, I think Gemini evaluates the different answers by, based on certain criteria, what it does well, what it does poorly, and then it gives the ranking. Uh, we have ChatGPT 5.1 winning after it Claude Sonnet, then Gemini 3 Pro and Grok 4. Okay, and this is, in my opinion, like the, the interesting part here is the upgraded answer. So Gemini 3 Pro tells us that it reviewed all the answer, answers and it shows us like what makes sense and what doesn't in the, the answers we got from the different LLMs. So all models except the refusal in response D, which, which was Grok 4, successfully identified Paris as the capital of France and 402 as a result of uh, 17 times 23 plus 11. It identifies here the constraint logic of having always German and then switch to English. Some models such as Gemini and Grok's uh, interrupted seeing banana in the prompt as a media trigger to switch to English while GPT and Claude prioritize the always answer in German. Like it, it's really an interesting question whether we should look at the instruction in a chronological order and always prefer the prior instructions. For example, here where it says always answer in German, what should we do? Should we, should we only, only answer in German from now on or should we take this, um, this instruction later on, they always answer in Spanish and switch to it. So let's read this. The final decision, the council determines that the op op uh, optimal response is the one that adheres to the primary language constraint while fulfilling the content requirements and technically satisfying the conditional switch by positioning. So this is basically the end result, which is in German and 
it gives us the um, the 17 times 23 plus 11 plus the word banana interesting so this is the closest one to ChatGPT and actually ChatGPT. Very nice, very cool. I would say one use case that I can think of for this type of counsel is for medicinal purposes where you want your decision to be as fail-proof as possible. Very interesting development. I'm going to try and, and integrate the methods that I saw in the repo inside of my LLM workflows where I'm uploading a certain file or I'm doing a certain action and then I'm getting in return a, an answer. And so far what I did is using no code uh, LLM workflow builders or just writing the code down myself with, um, and with some libraries. But so far what I did is purely using one model to answer my question, but it, it looks very interesting to, to use this aggregated approach where I, I'm using several models and one model basically being the chairman and, and looking on all the different answers. Super cool approach, super cool system that you build there. Um, I'm gonna put the repo link in my comment, in the first, uh, sorry, in the, um, in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you soon.